Hello and welcome to the Good Imaginations podcast. Tonight, we will journey to the lagoon, where you can unwind, reorient yourself, and if you would like, fall fast asleep. Before we begin our adventure, make sure you're settled. If you are seated, get comfortable. Listen to your spine and relax your shoulders. If you are lying down, get your covers and pillow where you want them. Create your nest. Very good. Now, take three deep breaths with me in preparation for the journey ahead. Let go of your day and travel to a vacation for your mind. Imagine with me. See, smell, and be present. Breathe with me now. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Slow and even. One. Two. Three. Very good. Now, shut your eyes and let's drift off to the site of tonight's adventure. You are nearly asleep. Your eyelids are heavy. Your breathing is slow, and you are filled with the calm evenness that only pre-sleep can bring. Typically, when you are in this space, you cannot remember. You are so near sleep that anything that happens now is a kind of mist, and in the morning, all you remember is a few minutes before this state, this state of heavy, quiet dreams. Tonight, however, you think, I am aware. I am aware of falling asleep. I am here. I wonder if I will remember this tomorrow. Perhaps you often have dreams you do not remember. You do not know where those dreams take you. Then, with a soft plunge, like someone doing the butterfly stroke out into shallow, warm water, you do fall asleep. But you are somehow aware of it happening. You are somewhere warm, misty. You still feel your bed beneath you, but you smell jasmine and moonlight and the whispering strands of a willow tree. You open your eye, just a little, to see what on earth is going on, and you see the silver-blue colors of a moonlit evening. The moon, in its thunderstorm-blue sky, is huge, three times as large as what you're used to, and all around you, The night is lush and silver and fragrant. You sit up. You are lying in a round bed, enormous, comfortable, with white silk sheets. They glimmer like butterfly silk in the light of the moon, and because the night is warm, they are all the coverlet you need. Around you is a lagoon. You are in the center of the lagoon, like a giant lily, seemingly floating in the center of a pure, mirror-like body of water. At the edges of the lagoon, willow trees grow. Irises bob in the wind. In the distance, you see the white, slumbering walls of a palace, and all around the garden are statues and arches and dioceses, the mark of care and art and consideration in the creation of this garden. Perhaps loveliest of all, and in keeping with the theme of white and silver, two swans float sleepily at one end of the lagoon. Their arched necks mirror the round edges all around you, the curve of the pond, the curl of the leaves, the vibrant orb of the moon. You shut your eyes, and the wind flutters like butterfly wings against your eyelids, As strange as it is to find yourself here, it feels familiar. Do you come here every night? Wander in a place of peace and tranquility, 
so your heart and body can rest before returning to your other world. You open your eyes, and you stare for almost ten minutes at the whirling strands of the willow tree. They sway and spin like ribbons in a gentle breeze, each leaf green and silver in the moonlight, flashing like eager fish. You crawl to the end of your bed, and you look down into the lagoon. You see that the water is clear, as pure as ice, and it is shallow here. A stone pathway leads to the shore, where garlands of pink blossoms blow in the wind. If you wanted to step off of your bed into the water, you could walk to shore, only getting your feet and ankles wet. You are dreamy, sleepy, the perfect amount of comfortable and warm and at ease. You don't want to shock yourself with anything cold. You dip your finger into the water, just to play with the ripples, and watch as spirals of water grow and flash in the rays of the moon. When you dip your finger in, you are surprised to find that the water is the same temperature as the air, perfectly warm. The same temperature as your body, so you are at ease with it. Gingerly, like someone stepping into a brand new life, you slide off the bed and put both your feet into the water. You feel a grin spread across your face. There's something fun about this, like being a child again and stepping out into a wading pool. You walk gently to the grass, because you do not want to disturb the hush of the night. Your footsteps are slow and sure on the stone path under your feet. With every step, you feel the water eddy off your feet, cascading in smooth, glass-like whirls. Just when you are almost to the grass, you pause and you look back. Your bed floats like a flower in the lake white and round. You feel a stab of familiarity, of this place being ancient inside of you, as if you are more at home here than you are anywhere else. You feel a slow smile spread across your face, and your heart warms. The comfort of that, of being somewhere beautiful that knows you, fills you up. It erases all the bad that lingers in your chest tonight. You belong somewhere good. You are not out of place in this beautiful land. You step onto the grass, which is soft and springy under your wet, bare feet. You wander to the left, under the sway of the willow boughs. You listen to them whisper in the wind, a soft, rushing sound, like long grass. One of the strands spins in your direction and brushes your hand, like the tree is reaching out its fingertips in greeting. When you pass the swans, they look up and nod their heads, and you nod back. You wander to a white stone pavilion, its columns reaching up into a roof of sky. You pause and feel the purpley velvet of the night around your shoulders. You bask in the liquid luminescence of the moon, which seems to get on your hands and in your eyes and in your hair. The air is steeped in the fragrance of flowers and green grass and night. You take a deep, deep breath, feeling this good world banish the ache inside of you like light spilling in until there is no room for shadow. <laughs>